Hello everyone and welcome back to the Magnus Invitational. We are continuing our coverage uh, with the match Maxime Vachel Lagrave versus Alireza Firuja. Uh, so basically the unofficial uh, French uh, championship uh, as uh, of course Maxime is French and Firuja has been living in France for quite some time now and uh, when he's finally finished uh, switching federations uh, it is uh, uh, I believe he will play for for the French Federation. So uh, basically two of the strongest uh, French players here uh, and uh, Maxime with the white piece. So this is game three and the first two games ended in a draw. Uh, and uh, let's see what happens here. Maxime with the white pieces opens with d4. Uh, we have knight to f6, uh, c4, e6, knight to c3, and now bishop to b4 by Alireza going for the Nimzo Indian defense. Uh, probably probably the, 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 the best defense there is. Uh, I mean, I enjoy it the most. Uh, doesn't mean it's actually best it's just that uh, i enjoyed the most against d4 so queen to c2 maxim goes for the classical line and uh, uh, a lot of commentators were saying that this is maybe not the correct approach uh, against such a strong player like alireza as it's uh, well too basically over analyzed and it's hard for white to to push for anything here uh, but okay, uh, Firuza, Firuja goes for c5, immediately strikes in the center, we have d captures on c5, and now you could go for knight to a6 to grab the pawn this way, you can continue bishop captures, uh, but first uh, Firuja castles the safety. We have a3, now forcing black to capture, bishop captures on c5, and now knight to f3. Uh, Maxime continues developing, uh, and here uh, we have uh, d5. b6 is the most often played move here, but uh, uh, Firuja prepared something else, we have d5. Bishop to g5 by Maxime, uh, now uh, pressuring this knight, and now bishop back to e7, so the knight can now move. And uh, uh, there are a few games in the database where e3 and c, c captures on d5 were played, but here rook to d1, and it is as of move 9 that we have a completely new game. Uh, so, uh, you should definitely move your queen away from the d-file, which is what uh, Firuja does. We have queen to a5 as the knight is pinned. Uh, and e3, Maxim wants to finish development and castle his king to safety. Uh, we have h6 now asking do you want to go back or do you want to trade here? And here uh, Maxim trades and uh, it's uh, again a general principle that you do not trade unless you actually gain something from that trade, uh, you know. Uh, it's the good old to, to take is a mistake. So what does Maxim gain here? So this is what he finds. Bishop captures, bishop captures, c captures on d5, e captures. And now you cannot go for the pawn right away because if you capture it, black will just eliminate one of the defenders with check. And after you recapture, you just lose the rook. Uh, that's all there is to it. So after ed5, Maxim found b4. This is his idea behind the capture. Now trying to uh, offer the a3 pawn for the for the d5 pawn, but Max, uh, Firuja decides to, to keep the pawn. Uh, so queen here, now putting pressure uh, on the knight here, and again you cannot move it uh, as uh, the queen would just hang. So rook to c1, and now queen back to d8, again keeping an eye on his d5 pawn. Queen to d2, again attacking it, and now bishop to e6, Firuja just defends it. So after all this is uh, said and done. Uh, Firuja keeps his pawn, and it's an it's an isolated d pawn. So we'll see if it will be a weakness uh, or or, uh, or a strength in the position. So bishop e2. Finally, Maxim uh, is ready to finish development, and knight to c6. Now uh, we have castles by Maxim, and now uh, as Firuja does have uh, this uh, expanded structure on the queen side, Maxim attacks it with a5. So b5, uh, just advancing the pawn, grabbing more space on the queen side, knight to e7, and now not a4 just yet, but first a knight to a4. He wants to shift his knight over to c5. Uh, we have queen to d6, uh, and now uh, knight to c5, as planned. And here, uh, going for b6 wouldn't be all that uh, impressive, uh, as now knight to e4 could uh, put... Uh, uh, put black into some difficulties as uh, okay you do grab the a3 pawn but uh, bl white shatters your king side and uh, in the end you even have queen d uh, queen d4 going for the df6 and the, the b6 pawn so not really not really much for black so instead uh, Firuja goes rook f to c8 now uh, with a double attack on the knight and uh, setting a trap for Maxim now if Maxim goes for knight captures on b7 then queen b6 just traps the knight and, but it's not it's not at all clear uh, right away because uh, let's say you trade once captures captures and now you capture the uh, pawn on a5 seems like your knight escapes but bishop to c3 still just uh, captures the knight after the queen moves of course so after this rook f to c8, uh, Maxine captures an e6, we have f captures an e6, now uh, the d5 pawn is no longer isolated, uh, and e4 now, as Firuja's queen on d6 is undefended. 
uh, we have knight to g6 and now uh, e captures on d5. And now, not uh, recapturing right away, but first knight to f4. Again, uh, Firuja sets a trap for Maxime. Uh, for example, if you go for, for one more pawn grab, then it's uh, rook captures on c1. And after you recapture, now just captures, captures, and of course captures uh, with check picking up the rook on c1. So after knight to f4, we have bishop to c4 by Maxime. Uh, now just uh, ke keeping an eye on everything here. And knight captures on d5, uh, winning back the pawn, and only now a4, strengthening this structure here. Uh, and uh, as the king occupies the same diagonal as the bishop, first king to h8 by Firuja, and now g3, Maxim also takes a moment to create some breeding room for his king. Queen to b4, Firuja now offers a queen trade, which would give him a pass pawn uh, if a captures on b4 occurs. Uh, but first, Maxim goes for bishop captures on d5, queen captures on d2 now, knight captures on d2, and e captures on d5. And here we have this position that uh, the, the material is equal, and it's a knight against the bishop. Uh, and here you probably go rook fd1, rook fe1, uh, or uh, something in those lines, and continue playing the game. However, Maxim played knight to b3, and this allowed Firuja uh, a very interesting idea, rook to c4. Uh, now threatening of course to capture the a4 pawn but also if just rook captures on c4 then you get another pass pawn and with the bishop slicing all the way here it would be an incredibly strong pass pawn so here rook f to d1 maxim wants to trade pawn for pawn and firuja goes for it rook captures on a4 uh, but now not capturing on d5 right away uh, to, uh, as this uh, is followed by rook to b4, going, uh, well, uh, putting pressure on the pawn and also attacking the knight. And after the knight moves, now you start pushing the, the pass pawn. So it would be also very strong. So instead, after rook captures on a4, we have knight to c5, now putting pressure on the rook, but still rook to b4. And here, knight captures on b7 instead. Here now, Maxim also creates a pass pawn, uh, but Firuja doesn't even bother with uh, recapturing on b5, he just starts pushing the pawn. Uh, so, rook, uh, pawn to a4, we have rook to c2, preparing to block the pawn uh, on, on a light square, of course, with a3, and now rook to a2. However, uh, this doesn't work, uh, so uh, feel free to pause the video and try to find the winning idea for Firuja while I give you a couple of seconds. So, uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations uh, on spotting the, the correct winning idea. Uh, and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, uh, the quickest way to win is rook to b2. You could uh, start with bishop to e7 to add another defender here, but rook to b2 is the most straightforward one. And this is what Firuja chooses. Uh, and now, uh, it's not, not easy to defend. For example, if you capture, capture, uh, there is no defense against rook a1. Uh, that's that just ends the game whatever you play king here you, you still go rook a1 and you either trade or black gets a queen into the game on the other hand if you try something like rook to a1 then it's a bit trickier but still uh still very interesting bishop to e7 you kind of kind of guard the pawn and then you allow this rook captures pawn captures you kind of blunder a rook but then after the king moves as the king is in check there's no way to stop promotion so that's uh, an, another problem for uh, for Maxim. So instead, Maxim played rook to d2, uh, but here uh, Firuja just played rook captures on d2, and it was in this position on move 35 that Maxim Vashielagrav resigned the game, and uh, this uh, game three goes to Alireza Firuja. Uh, now, of course, if the rook is captured, a2, uh, and this will this will be followed by a1, a promotion, and of course uh, that's a game. So yeah, uh, that's uh, game three of their match, and game four, uh, I will now say it, uh, ended in a draw. It was an, it was a really, really long game, and uh, Maxim was really pressuring. Uh, he had uh, he was up a piece, but he was uh, unable to uh, unable to uh, get, get more than a draw as Firuja defended uh, properly, uh, and uh, that's just it. Uh, so game one, two, and four ended in a draw. Firuja wins game three, and with this game three, he also wins the match. So this will definitely impact the, the standings, but we're going to check out the standings after the, the round completes. Uh, as both Magnus and Maxim lost their game, so now it's probably Hikaru who, who will really fight today to, to, to grab a full three points and, and take the lead. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's uh, the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank Terence Nolan, uh, Jan Oraske, uh, Steve Vaca, uh, Thomas Connors, and Roland Miller for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon, continuing the coverage of the Magnus Invitational until it finishes. So thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.